what's good you guys and today in this video I'll be showing you how to record analog values on your Raspberry Pi well the Raspberry Pi is a small but powerful computer but the only thing it lacks is an analog to digital converter feature so today in this video I'll be showing you how to record the analog values from any sensor you can do so by connecting an Arduino directly to the Raspberry Pi and taking data via the Arduino or you can use something which is called an analog to digital converter well, in this video I'll be showing you how to record the analog values using the MCP320412 bit analog to digital converter IC. So let's get started. So let's have a look at the parts required to make this project. First of all, you'll be requiring the Raspberry Pi. For this project, I'm using the Raspberry Pi 3, but you can use any of the Raspberry Pi that you have available. Over here you can see the HDMI port for connection of the display module, the micro USB port for connection of the power to the Raspberry Pi, 4 USB ports to connect the mouse, keyboard and any other accessories that you would like. The Ethernet connection is for the connection of the Raspberry Pi with the internet. You have the CPIO pins over here that will be used to connect the ADC module with the Raspberry Pi. So now let's take a look at the connection scheme between the MCP3204 and the Raspberry Pi. As mentioned, the MCP3204 is a 14 pin IC of which the first 4 pins are dedicated to the analog input that is we will be connecting those to the sensors. The remaining pins are for the power supply of the IC and the SPI communication between the IC itself and the Raspberry Pi. So over here I have the pin diagram of the MCP3204 and the first 4 pins are dedicated to the analog inputs from channel 0 to channel 3. Pins 5 and 6 are not used in this instance. Pin 7 and pin 12 are the analog and digital grounds which are connected to the ground of the Raspberry Pi. VDD and VREF are connected to the 5 volts of the Raspberry Pi to give the necessary power supply and the voltage reference for the ADC. The clock pin which is pin 11 of the MCP3204 is connected to GPIO 11 of the Raspberry Pi which is the physical pin 23. The data out is connected to GPIO 9 which is pin 21 of the Raspberry Pi, also called as MISO, the master in slave out. The data in of the MCP3204 is connected to GPIO 10, which is the physical pin 19, also called as the MOSI, the master out slave in. The chip select enables or disables the MCP3204 and is connected to GPIO 8, which is the physical pin 24 of the Raspberry Pi. Now, as I mentioned, that we will be using the MCP3204 in a 10-bit configuration. So, in a 10-bit configuration, the resolution of the readings is 2 to the power 10, which translates to 124 steps. So, if the supply voltage is 5 volts, and then each step corresponds to around 4.88 millivolts. So, now let's hook up the MCP3204 with the Raspberry Pi. And for that, I'll be using the breadboard to fix the MCP3204 and then use some jumper wires to connect the ADC with the necessary pins. Over here, first of all, we connect the 5 volt and the ground. So, 5 volt is on pin 14. So, it also connects to the VREF that is pin number 13. So, I'm connecting pin number 14 and 13 with the male to male jumper wire
Now that all the necessary connections of power and communication has been made from the Raspberry Pi to the ADC module, it's finally time to connect the sensor. For the sensor, I am using a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, uh, connecting one, one leg of the potentiometer to ground, the other leg of the potentiometer to 5 volts, and the middle leg of the potentiometer will be connected to the CH0, the first pin of the analog to digital converter IC. So, I just take the potentiometer and fit it on the breadboard like so, and then using the jumper wires, I connect one of one side of the potentiometer to ground the other side of the potentiometer right here to BCC which is 5 volts it's over here and the middle pin to CH0 which is pin 1 So here we have the setup ready. Now let's fire up the Raspberry Pi and have a look at the programming. Now we set up the Raspberry Pi to take the data from the ADC module. For that we go to preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration. We open the configuration and in the configuration window, we go to interface. In the interface tab, there is an option called SPI which is disabled by default. We need to enable it so as to take the data from the ADC module. After enabling it, we click OK to close the window. Now we need to install certain libraries of Python which will allow us to take the data from the module. First of all, we check if there is any update or not. To do that, we type sudo apt get update. We wait for some time to, for the updates to get downloaded and then we proceed further. After installing the necessary updates, we now install the SPI dev library which will enable the python to read the SPI protocols. For that we type sudo pip install SPI dev. After installing the SPI dev library, we need to install the Raspberry Pi GPIO library. For that, we type pip install wiring pi. After the wiring pi library, the final library is the numpy library. To install that we simply type sudo pip install numpy. So that's it. We have installed the necessary libraries required for the ADC module. Now let's get to the python code. Now this right here is the python code to take the ADC values and print it on the terminal. First we import all the libraries namely the SPI dev library to communicate with the SPI devices, the numpy library, the time library to import necessary delays between two successive readings, the rpy library in order to access the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. First we start the SPI communication on port 0 as the Raspberry Pi has two SPI ports, the SPI port 0 and the SPI port 1. We'll be using the SPI port 0 in our instance. 
Then we create a function called analog input which accepts the channel number and returns the necessary ADC value. We then implement an infinite loop using the while true functionality which continuously reads the data from the ADC using the analog input function and prints it on the python terminal. So let's run this code and see the values on the terminal. I have connected a potentiometer to the channel 0 of the MCP3204 and these are the raw values that are coming in. Now there is a delay of 50 milliseconds between each of the readings which can be adjusted accordingly. As I move the potentiometer the raw analog value changes. The minimum value being 0 and the maximum value being 1023 thus giving us a 10 bit resolution. To make the code more interactive, I have written a python code which will plot the real time ADC values with respect to time. You can get the code in the video description below. Once the code executes, we get a new window of the graph plotting the real time values. Over here you can see the ADC values which are coming from the potentiometer. Now as I rotate the potentiometer, the ADC values are subsequently plotted. The intervals of plotting can easily be controlled by the code. As you can see, I am rotating the potentiometer from one side to the other and respectively the graph is changing. It's cool, isn't it? So you can use this graph for data analysis and also storing it in an excel file. I hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.